today is the count of Tiferet Shebayesod. This is the 38th day of the Omer. And I explained that the entire week of Yesod, 38. Yeah, we're already 38, we're almost done. So I explained that the entire week of Yesod is uh, mainly concentrating on relationships, and especially marriage. I mentioned that we'll talk a lot about marriages, but also relationships. Now, if you're looking at the halakha, a man is allowed to sanctify a woman with anything that is valuable. It doesn't have to be a ring. It can be anything that is what's called shve erech, that has a value. Because when a man uh, sanctifies a woman, it has to, there's three conditions how a man will uh, marry a woman. And one of them, he has to give something that has value to it. But nevertheless, the minhag that we have, the custom that we have, is to put a ring. Now, there's a reason why we do a ring. There's actually a lot of secrets behind the ring. It's not that somebody just invented, oh, you know, let's do a ring. Why is it not earrings or a necklace or a beautiful uh, a watch? Something in the ring. A lot, a lot of mystical explanations in the ring, which is very interesting that later on many other faiths do also a ring. So, but nevertheless, in Judaism, the, the custom is to do a ring. Uh, if you're not going too deep into the mystical part of it, there are a lot of mystical things. And uh, I remember not too long ago, somebody invited me to marry them off. And, uh, and uh, it was a very big wedding, and I didn't want it just to be a ceremony. I wanted it to be special and to explain. And, and they asked me, can you explain everything that we do? So I was for a couple months looking for all the details why are we doing this? Why are we doing that? So I'll be able in the chuppah not to give a whole lecture, 500 people, to throw quickly, 20 seconds. Now the groom is about to put the ring because ta 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 ta. And why are we doing this? Because of this and this and that. So I got so much beautiful, mystical things, why a ring? But nevertheless, if we're looking at the simple part of it, not the ring itself, not the, not the, the mystical part, if you're looking at the simple part, it's because it's pretty. There's nothing usable in the ring. I can come to uh, my wife and say, I'm sanctifying you with a 57-inch plasma TV. It's, uh, I'll use it every day. This is what's called in Hebrew, shimushi. I can use it. What can I do in the ring? I can't do nothing. It's just a decoration. So really, what is the ring? If you're looking at the simple part of the ring, that it's pretty, it's not usable. That's it. That's what it is. So the ring is representing the beauty in their marriage or the beauty in the, re in the relationship because the beauty in marriage is that there's unity, there's closeness, there's the togetherness. So the ring is coming to represent the beauty in the relationship. And this is Tiferet Sheba Yesod. Tiferet is the beauty and Yesod is the connection, is the covenant, is the relationship. So Tiferet Shebaesod is the beautiful part that represents the unity. Now, the, the recommendation, specifically in marriage, is that the woman wears the ring all the time. It's not good to put the ring away. That's why Bechlal, in Judaism, it's good to have a ring that you do the Kiddushin. Later on, you buy a nice diamond ring. That's just a present. But the actual sanctification, the Kiddushin, has to be done on, a, on a, a simple ring. To many people, they buy gold. Based on Kabbalah, better to do silver, but nevertheless, or white gold, but that the color itself will be silver, not gold. There's a lot of uh, mystical reasons why. But nevertheless, best for the woman to constantly wear the ring on her. Not to show other men that she's taken, just to why? To constantly remind the beauty in the connection. After 40 years of marriage, you don't remember so much the beauty. You remember it in the first week or two. And the wearing, I'm talking, of course, of a normal marriage, not uh, That's if it's a good marriage. This, if it's a good marriage, then for sure remember. But unfortunately, most people, they don't remember so much. And this is just to remind that there's beauty in their relationship. Now, Another uh, 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 part for the beautiful ring 
is that you want the marriage, the relationship to last forever like a good solid piece of metal, it lasts forever. Gold doesn't lose value, silver doesn't lose value. A cheap piece of uh, plastic will lose value. Metal, a good metal will stay forever, that's why I want the relationship to stay forever. So when we're looking at the Tiferet Shebayesod, the beauty of the relationship, there's the beauty when the two things are connected. When two things are connected the right way, there's something beautiful in it. And even though you are right, I agree with you, in a good relationship, you remember it forever. You don't need to, Baruch Hashem, I'm blessed to have a very special wife. I don't need to remind myself how lucky I am. I see it constantly. But nevertheless, some people, and in many relationships, they forget the beauty in their relationship. Even if they have an amazing husband, an amazing wife, they forget that uh, and, uh, or don't appreciate how beautiful this relationship is. And you know what? I'm just giving an example now with the weddings. It can be in any relationship. It can be with a good friend. And I have a very good friend. I didn't speak to him for a while. And not too long ago, he called me. Ah, oh, how are you? We talk on the phone for one hour. And after that, I was like, wow, you know, I didn't talk to him for so long, but he's, he's a real friend. He's a real good friend. Yeah, you have a type of a person that you once in a lifetime you have. I, I told him, I have three friends. 7.4 billion people in this world have three friends. That's what I was able to narrow it down. To real, three authentic, real people. No agenda, no ego, no jealousy, no issues, just real men. Anyways, so it's not only in a wedding, sometimes it's in a relationship, you forget how special the relationship is. Eh, time passes, whatever, things going on. So the trick here, when we're trying to focus on the Tiferet Shebayesod, is not to wait to the moments that, oh, this relationship is good. Not to remember, not to wait for the wedding day, how do you call it, the anniversary, to, oh, my wife is so special, when you write in the card. And, uh, you know, it was a joke between my wife and me. She, in the early ages of the marriage, she used to tell me, you don't uh, compliment me enough. I said, why? I think you're amazing. She's like, but I need to hear it. And I was like, okay, I told you three months ago that you're amazing. Well, you need to have it every day you need to hear it. So one time she also complained that whatever, I don't say something. So I said, what are you talking about? The last card in our anniversary, I wrote to you well, everything. I poured my heart on the piece of paper. She was like, okay, but once a year, I need to hear it all the time. So I said, well, nothing changed from last time. I think, I think the exact same thing. Nevertheless, in in a relationship, when the relationship is good and solid and healthy, and I'm not talking about rad relationships right now, I'm talking about sometimes you have, you're blessed with good relationships, then you constantly have to remember and value the beauty in the relationship and not to neglect it, not to wait till the wedding anniversary or to the moment. And, you know, not too long ago, I saw a video and I really don't see a lot of videos, even though I get like 500 of them a day. People think that I'm like bored and I sit all day long waiting for my phone to ring and for me to see a three minute video. So I have a, I just, I just throw them right to the garbage. Most people, I just tell them you're wasting your energy. It's the waste of space in the universe. Don't send them to me. I don't watch them. But I have a few selected people that when they do send me a video, I will actually watch it because it's usually something good. So somebody send me not too long a, 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 not long a video, it's not too, I always look how long it is. If it's more than a minute and a half, there's no chance I'm going to be watching it. Nevertheless, somebody sent me a video and I watched it and it had such a beautiful message. And, and uh, it was a man that, I don't remember now all, all the story, but nevertheless, the message was he was speaking to young people, it's probably in a school or something. And he, the message was that to value your mother. Well, he was saying how he was into drugs and uh, jail, in and out of jail and problems. And, and he said, you know, my mom took, always took care of me, always loved me. You know? Anyways, the bottom line was to, uh, he was like, don't, don't wait for Mother's Day. Just, you know, call your mom and tell her you love her. And it was so, the video was so powerful and to the point that I called my mom and I left her a message, I love you and I thank you for everything that you do and did and blah, blah, blah. And, and sometimes you need a reminder. 
you don't wait till Mother's Day. Now it was Mother's Day a few days ago, so everybody now, you're the amazing, amazing mother. Why don't you tell your mother every week, or once a day, that she's amazing? Assuming she's amazing, of course. But nevertheless, even if she's not, you can say a good word. The point is, when we're looking at Tiferet Sheba is in a good relationship, there's a lot of beauty. Whether it's a husband and wife, whether it's a father and a child, whether it's two friends, there's beauty in a relationship, then you have to make sure that you value this beauty in the relationship. This is the tiferet, the beauty of, of the yesod, of the connection of the, of the relationship. And practically saying is that I have to look around me and see where are my good relationships. There's no such a thing that a person has only bad relationships. And if they do, then that person, something's wrong with the person, not with the other people. If I, all my relationships are bad, I'm the problem. If I have uh, some good, some bad, okay, that's normal. But if you look around you, look for the relationships that are good, that are beautiful, that are people who are, are in your life, and see the beauty in it. And the beauty in it is the Tiferet Shebaesod, and you want to make sure that these relationships, don't let them pass in front of your, in front of your eyes. You know where you see it the most? When, uh, when you have kids. And then before you know it, they're adults already. And you're like, ah, well, once I used to have all the attention from the kid. Now I, the kid barely calls. So you want to value good relationships in your life and make sure that, to, that you see the beauty in every relationship. That's how you strengthen the midot of Tiferet Sheba Yesod.